it's Katie. It has been a while. I apologize. I said that it wouldn't be this long and then it was this long. Um, this background is not a real life background. I'm literally just sitting in my living room. I've kind of had problems setting up the background so that's why there's been a slight delay and I'm having storage problems etc. So this is kind of just like a quick little test run. I just wanted to film a quick video here while I have um, a little bit of daylight and yeah let's just see how this goes the background will eventually actually be like a backdrop with a wall and like cute stuff but for now let's just go with this I have an unboxing for you today I have two boxes first is my monthly birch box something that anybody who knows me uh, or watches this channel has known that I've been subscribing to for almost three years now Four? no almost four years I think I'm a big fan love it it's a monthly subscription service where you get a bunch of samples customized to your preferences ten dollars a month so much fun then, for the first time ever this month, I got my hands on the Target Beauty Box. Now this guy is super cool. I know that Walmart does one, as does Target. This is something where I think it ranges between like five to seven or eight dollars every month, depending on what stuff comes in it. This month I think it was only five. And then if you have a Target Red Card, which you should, you get free shipping as well, so that's what I got. And um, I think you get your 5% off as well. So shout out to Target Red Cards, go sign up for one. This is something where it's not customizable. They do not send you like different things for different people. Everybody gets the same box, but it's like a whole bunch of sample, deluxe size sample and full size in this box. Actually, let's start with the good old Target box. Uh, my friend Lauren, hey girl, always gets these and they sell out quick. Okay, so you get like the email that it's in stock and you better get on there and buy it real quick because it sells out. So she let me know this month when it was available and I was able to get it. So I'm gonna open it up. Tissue paper, standard, and then we have our goodies. So the first thing that I have is the card which says Vacay Vibes and I'm assuming, yeah, it talks about all the different products on the back. First thing that I see is, this is by the brand Not Your Mother's. This is the Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I love sea salt sprays. My hair, um, we can't talk about it. It's nine feet long. I was supposed to be getting it cut this Saturday, but there was a mix up with my schedule, so now I have to wait till next Saturday, but very soon it will be cut and normal and not nine feet long, where I always have to wear it in a bun. But anyway, I do love sea salt sprays. This is a good size, it smells really good, so I'm excited to try that. Next, going off the whole like summer theme, although it's only March, this is Banana Boat Sun Comfort um, SPF 30. Nice sunscreen. This is by Caress. It's the Adore Forever um, Fine Fragrance Collection of Body Wash. Ooh! It's pink. Can you see that? Probably not, but it's like a pink shower gel. And it smells really good. Great for travel. Next thing that I see is, this is called You Are Amazing Hello Beautiful Skin Body Lotion in the scent Juicy Grapefruit. This is one ounce, so all this stuff is like travel friendly size so far. I don't think anything is full size just yet, but it's just like a nice grapefruit scented lotion. Mmm, really like fresh and juicy. Next, it looks like we have a little packet of shampoo and conditioner. This is the Clairol Hair Food um, Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner with Honey Apricot. Apricot? Apricot? fragrance so I have so much hair that hopefully these will be enough for my hair but that looks fun this is exciting this is a full size it's just a one-time use but it's a little face mask by that brand Nug Nug I don't know who knows what the little what is that thing called um the little double that thing the little double dot on top of the U an umlauts an umlauts I think maybe Anyway, I don't know how to pronounce this or what language it's in, but it's, this is the flaxseed and peppermint oil face mask for tired skin to make it look radiant. So that's exciting. Another face mask in here. This is by Laneige, which I know is like a fancy drugstore brand that a lot of people like. This is the water sleeping mask. I have heard about this. I would assume that it's like moisturizing, which is always a good thing. So it's kind of like a gel formula. It smells good. I'm excited to try that, just like an intensive like hydration for overnight. And the last thing that I see in here is a nail polish. 
This is by the brand Sinful Colors, which is um, a really good brand. I've used it before, super affordable. This is in the shade called Wonder Mint. It's this nice blue, perfect for like spring. So awesome, all that was $5. So I'm totally on board, love it. Let's move on to Birch Box. Now I did do sample choice, which I do pretty much every month. And I know that I chose something that was like a shampoo and conditioner. I don't fully remember though, so let's see. As always, they have the product card right up front. I'm not gonna look at that because it's gonna tell me what's in the product or in the box. Okay, this is my sample choice item. Parlor by Jeff Chastain is the brand and we have the shampoo and conditioner. They're both uh, volumizing and texturizing. Mm, there's a seal on here. But I've tried other Jeff, whatever, Jeff Parlor, Jeff Chastain products before. They smell really great and they work really, really well. So I'm always down to try like different shampoos and conditioners. I go through a lot, like I mentioned. Next thing that's grabbing my attention is this. It's by Cartier. Looks like it's a little perfume sample. In the scent called, again, something I cannot pronounce, uh, Bazer Volé. And the notes are described as, a lily reinventing the freshness of the leaves, the floral notes of the petals, and the powderiness of the flowers, pistol. Okay, so it's supposed to be like powdery and floral. I'm wearing a different perfume today, so it'll probably clash, but let's try it. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Not so much. I don't hate it but I don't love it. It's certainly not a scent that I immediately gravitate towards. It is very powdery and it um, kind of smells like sunscreen. My camera's saying something weird to me. What's wrong with you? Well, let's go quickly before it stops. Ooh, next thing that I see is by Smashbox. <sighs> Can't open it. So it slides out like so. Ooh. It's an eyeshadow trio. Just some nice like neutral shades. Um, it looks like they're all nice and matte. That would be a good thing for like travel. I'll be honest, I mean, I'm not over the moon about this because I have so much makeup, so many palettes, that this is just kind of like whatever. But I mean, I like Smashbox, it's a good brand, it's a good size, so I'll take it. Next, I have this product by Cynthia Rowley. This is the Brightening Illuminator. Okay, it says it's available exclusively at Birchbox. Ooh, Glow Getter, and it is Looks like a little liquid illuminator. It has a freaking foil thing on there, but basically I think it's just kind of like a little cream. Can you even see that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but it's just this little, very subtle um, shimmer that you could put, like you could mix in with your foundation or your BB cream or whatever. You could put it on like the tops of your cheekbones. It's pretty and it's subtle and I like Cynthia Rowley. Last thing that I see, I'm actually the most excited for because it's by Kiehl's, which I love this brand. It's an awesome skincare brand. This is the Ultra Facial Oil-Free Cleanser for normal to oily skin types. Um, Kiehl's has amazing products. Everything that I've tried from them, I absolutely love. And that's actually a really good size. So I'm excited to give that a go. Now I'm gonna quickly end this here because it looks like my camera is saying, ooh, just hit the TV. My camera is saying weird things to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I would like to continue to do or I would like to do my Birchbox unboxings every month. I don't think I'm normally that good at doing it and waiting for the camera. Again, bear with this weird background situation. I am working on it. I've missed you all a lot. I have my external hard drive that I'm ordering so that I can clear up my memory problem and I'll be back in the flow of things. For now, comment below if you thought which box did you think looked more fun, Birchbox or the Target Beauty Box. I hope you're doing very well, all of you. And I will see you very soon for another video. Love you. Bye.